No way. Well, 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 another big, big cover-up revealed to the world. You're going to want to leave a like on this video right away. Make sure you share it because I don't know if people are less interested in following this story or if it's starting to get suppressed. I suspect it's the latter and then the former. But brand new radio frequency, radio calls were released between the Secret Service that day as well as even Hollywood is starting to be interested in finding out the truth even TMZ, TMZ, I'm saying, you know, the, 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 like the rag company that sells, I don't know, Hollywood, whatever, whatever, even there, like something is fishy here. We have more whistleblowers coming out. I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's starting to be a landslide of new information, serious, serious stuff. Uh, let's get right into it. After a quick word from this video sponsor, Preserve Gold, probably a good time. Many of you out there worried about the fate of the U.S. dollar. We're living in increasingly uncertain times with inflation, the rise of digital currencies, stock market volatility, and recession warnings. Financial analysts are urging Americans to get prepared right now. That's why you should strongly consider physical gold and silver to help protect your retirement accounts like IRAs and 401ks. Preserve Gold can explore the right options for you and help you take the first step towards protecting your wealth. Today, they're giving my viewers a no-obligation free wealth protection guide that contains 25 pages of detailed information. All you have to do is text the word quartering, one word, to 50505. Learn how you can help put physical gold and silver into an IRA and even per or 401k and even purchase precious metals for delivery directly to your home. Preserve Gold has hundreds of five-star reviews and millions of dollars in trusted transactions with satisfied clients. Additionally, you can get up to $15,000 in free gold and silver with qualified purchase. Again, text the word quartering to 50505 or visit preservegold.com slash the quartering to receive this exclusive offer today. Link in the description below. Here we have TMZ. Okay, TMZ. Look at this. TMZ Studios has a new documentary that drops on Tubi. It's called Under Fire, the Trump assassination attempt. And it is, I think, pretty shocking. We have a number of former Secret Service officials on talking about how shocking the security lapses were. There was nothing good that I have to say about how those events unfolded. They talk about a debate that's going on that women were allegedly placed in the position on the stage there even though they were too short. Half of those people are women. That is a conscious decision that was made purely for optics purposes. They put him into just as much danger as if they weren't there at all. Everything that I've seen, they did textbook. I understand the tragedies that occurred at that site with somebody dying and losing their life and the injuries, but a protectee of the United States Secret Service is alive. At the end of the day, that's a win. And win that is wild. Don't care about the, don't care about, you know, the, the firefighter, the heroic man who is saving his family protecting his family don't care about him dying uh you know that's not a big deal you know that's not a big deal no big deal no big deal think tmz realizes they could be the worst watched news organization in the world if they just reported i'm sorry the most watched news organization if they actually reported the real news that's something i didn't expect this is the type of journalism we need more of. I mean, TMZ, like TMZ is the mainstream media is turning on the Secret Service. When you hear the eyewitnesses and you hear the video and the audio from the video of people screaming, there's a guy with a gun. I mean, this is so nuts. Like, I can't even believe TMZ is putting this out. Everybody's getting in on dunking them. Look at this, by the way. Oh, this is another cover up about. Remember that bag of white powder the Secret Service found? Well, they just threw it away because it, <laughs> we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. I want to get to the audio recordings that were released. Uh, and then the ultimate reason why they didn't protect Trump. Secret Service chief says that local PD warned of this person, of uh, Lee Tardy at the, at the event. In the final 30 seconds, which has been the focus of what happened before the assailant opened fire, there were clearly radio transmissions that may have helped happened on the local radio net that we did not have, Rose said. 
Rose said the FBI, the agency leading a criminal investigation into the shooting. Oh, they're investigating themselves. I wonder who they're going to find. I wonder what they're going to find. There was somebody who did, in fact, radio out that they had seen an individual with a weapon. I want to repeat that again. In the final 30 seconds, which had been the focus of what happened before the assailant opened fire, there were clearly radio transmissions that have happened that may have happened on local radio that we did not have, Rose said. Rose said the FBI, the agency leading a criminal investigation into the event, is working to determine exactly what was communicated. But Rose said investigators believe, quote, there was somebody who did, in fact, radio out that they had seen an individual with a weapon. A local police officer confronted them on the roof of the industrial building where he ultimately opened fire, but that officer, who had been hoisted up by a colleague, fell to the ground about 30 seconds before it began. At the same time the shots rang out, Secret Service were aware that local police were dealing with an issue on the periphery of the event, but did not know about a weapon. So what? If Secret Service is dealing with an issue, you just take Trump off the stage. In testimony to Congress on Tuesday, Rose said that he had blamed the failure on local law enforcement while also saying that he was, quote, ashamed of the security lapses that occurred on the day of the event. Rowe also noted that Secret Service had not been present in the command post set up by local law enforcement in Butler for the outdoor campaign event. I mean, again, they now they make a huge admission that, yes, the radio has, they, they did, the radio traffic does confirm what we all knew. We lost sight of him. Radio traffic shows failed search for Trump rally uh, loser. An urgent message cackled over the radio inside the white trailer, a mobile communication hub for police helping former uh, secure President Trump. Just an FYI, we had a younger male, long hair lurking around the AGR building. A local counter sniper said at 542, according to timestamp transcript of encrypted radio commission in uh, timestamp transcript of encrypted radio communications obtained by the Washington Post. He has been viewed with a rangefinder sighting the stage and we lost sight of him. No one from the Trump Secret Service, no one from Secret Service, the agency primarily responsible for protecting Trump was inside the white trailer to hear the message. I wonder why. According to two law enforcement officials, instead, the federal agency had its own mobile command post with Pennsylvania State Police almost 300 yards away and had no direct open communications line to the local police hub. Why? Why? The lack of direct communication link would later hamper the ability for Secret Service to quickly grasp the threat posed by the would-be uh, loser, Lee Tardy Oswald, as local PD searched for him over the next 30 minutes, resulting... Nobody picked up a cell phone? Don't, nobody said, hey, we should probably let... We should probably let Secret Service know to hold off till we find this dude. You know, we'll probably let, we'll probably just, you know, just hold on a minute. Trump can be five minutes late. We'll get after it. The transcript and accounts provide the clearest picture yet of minute by minute hunt for him and shows how he evaded PD and climbed onto the roof of a nearby building undetected. Police lost track of him for 20 minutes after he was seen with a rangefinder. By the way, it's something they let him bring in. Curious, curious, curious. When he was spotted again, walking toward the area where he would gain access to the rooftop of a local PD called the AGR building, an officer mischaracterized where he was headed, directing his college to the wrong side of the building. Oh, it happens all the time. The post-examination also shows that communication between the Secret Service and local PD was disjointed and time-consuming helping explain why Secret Service agents closest to Trump were taken by surprise when it happened. On three occasions, a local officer inside the Butler command post had to relay information about crooks to the circuit Secret Service by cell phone on a day when cell service was unreliable. That method was too slow when seconds counted, and a local officer spotted him on the roof with a weapon and radioed to local command center that he was armed approximately 30 seconds before it started. Two law enforcement officers who said the command post had no direct line of communication that was information about crooks had been relayed by cell phone were Butler County DA. I mean, are you joking? 
all the key st stakeholders should be in the same room. Young said in an interview, that alleviates any communication problems. I didn't have any cell phone service. The radio transmissions about the suspicious mail with a rangefinder set off a flurry of messages between local officers on the ground and supervisors stationed in Butler County Command Center. Do you know what shirt color? White shirt and a hat. He didn't have a white shirt on. Oh, uh, yeah, it was. I can't remember anymore now. Uh, in a separate channel for local tactical officers, not audible in the first channel, the counter sniper who first reported the rangefinder was giving a different description. Yeah, okay, it was great. Yeah, gray t-shirt, light-colored khakis. The local officers locked, maybe he changed shirts, lost track of crooks, and would not see him again until 20 minutes later. I mean, are you joking? At, at, why don't you just shut it down? Just shut it down. Why, why not shut it down? I don't understand why you don't. This is why people think you let it happen. This is perhaps the biggest bombshell as now apparently the counter team was afraid to take him out because they were worried about getting sued. They saw a guy with a rifle. That should be good enough, shouldn't it, to scream. Not Get the state of Pennsylvania, Harvey. You're in an open carry state, allowed to carry a gun outside of a secure spot inside of a zone and walk around. Why does the uh, the shooter have to literally get to the point of pointing the gun at the former president before they realize it's a threat? You want me to just shoot him because he's got a gun? If there's a gun and a guy on a roof and he's not a police officer, to me, the common sense thing is scream, Get Trump on the ground or get Trump out of here now. That's what I would think somebody would scream. It just seems common sense to me. But I think in the world of safety and protection, um, you, you have to take in a lot of stuff, digest it and assess it in seconds or a fraction of that and make a decision. How do I know factually, intentionally, what you are getting ready to do? Doesn't matter. You should be able to have turned his head into a fine mist but they were afraid of getting sued, so they let him fire first. Absolute insanity.